Now in this problem, we have to show that the second derivative of y with respect to x is given by this particular expression. If x is given by a times theta plus sine theta and y equals to a times 1 minus cosine of theta. So they are given in parametric form. So let's begin. So we'll start by considering x first. So we have x equals to a times theta plus sine theta. Now let's take the derivative on both sides with respect to theta. So we have dx over d theta, a being a constant. So we'll set it aside and we'll take the derivative with respect to theta of the first term, which is theta, plus derivative with respect to theta of sine theta. So this is going to give us a times the derivative of theta with respect to theta. So that's 1 plus derivative of sine theta is cosine of theta. So we have derivative of x with respect to theta. So that's a times 1 plus cosine of theta. Now let's come, let's uh, label this as equation number 1. Now we will use y. So here y is given as a times 1 minus cosine of theta. Let's take the derivative of y with respect to theta. So we have a multiplied to derivative of 1 with respect to theta minus derivative with respect to theta of cosine theta. So that gives us dy over d theta. That's equals to a times the derivative with respect to theta of 1 is 0. Then we have negative derivative of cosine theta is negative sine theta. So this becomes positive sine theta. Now let's label this as equation number 2. Now what we'll do, we'll take, uh, we'll find dy over dx derivative of y with respect to it. For that, what we have to do, we'll consider equation number 2 and divide with equation number 1. So that means we'll take dy over d theta and divide it with dx over d theta. Now this will be equals to a times sine theta divided by a times 1 plus cosine theta. Fine. So this gives us sine theta over cosine 1 plus cosine theta. Now what we'll do, we can further simplify the numerator denominator using identity. So we have obtained dy over dx equals to sine theta divided by 1 plus cosine theta. So sine of theta, so here we'll use the half angle formula. So sine of theta is equals to 2 times sine theta over 2 times cosine of theta over 2. And cosine of theta is equals to 2 times cosine squared theta over 2 minus 1. So that means if we have 1 plus cosine of theta, so that will be equals to 2 times cosine squared theta over 2. So let's use this. The dy over dx, that becomes equals to, so in place of sine theta, we have 2 times sine theta over 2 times cosine of theta over 2. All divided by 1 plus cosine of theta will get replaced with 2 times cosine squared theta over 2. Fine. So here 2 and 2 gets cancelled. 1 cosine theta over 2 uh, from the numerator and 1 from the denominator gets cancelled out. And this leaves us with dy over dx equals to, so we have a ratio sine theta over 2 with cosine theta over 2. That ratio is the tangent of theta over 2. So we have obtained the first derivative of y with respect to x, which is given by tangent of theta over 2. Now we'll take the derivative on both sides with respect to x. We have derivative with respect to x of dy over dx which will be equals to derivative with respect to x of tangent of theta over 2. Right. So this gives us second derivative of y with respect to x. So that's equals to the so derivative of the tangent function is a secant squared function. So we have secant squared theta over 2. But then again, we have theta over 2 here. So we'll use the chain rule and take its derivative with respect to x. So this gives us secant squared theta over 2. Now half is a constant, so we have pulled it out. So we have half multiplied to d theta over dx. Now we have obtained dx over d theta. So if we go to equation number 2, we have dx over d theta, which equals to a times 1 plus cosine of theta. So if we want to find a d theta over dx, so we'll have to take the reciprocal. So that means we have d squared y over dx squared, so that's equals 1 over 2 times secant squared theta over 2 
multiply it to so here we have one divided by a times one plus cosine of theta right so cosine one plus cosine of theta so we can replace this with uh, the two times uh, cosine square theta over two so let's do that so we have half multiplied to secant squared of theta over two multiplied to one over a so one of plus cosine of theta will become two times cosine squared theta over two so cosine squared theta over two when it goes to the numerator so it's got multiplied with secant squared theta over two and this will finally give us the value second derivative of y with respect to x so that's equals to so this two and two will get multiplied to get give us one over four we have an a here all multiplied to secant raised to the power of four multiplied to theta over two so this was what we are asked to prove